Wow. That is the word to describe this fight and the result was wow. So I'm talking about Road FC 45 double X, the Road FC Adam White Championship, first title defense of Hamsa He, the Road FC Adam White Champion, and number one world ranked versus Jin Yu Fra from the US, the world number two ranked. So how often do you get a number one versus number two world ranked fight happening, first of all? And then how often do you get it outside the UFC? Pretty much, it's pretty rare anymore. Uh, and so, you know, when I did the preview fight, or excuse me, the preview video for this entire event, I predicted a three-round decision. I said, I don't think these two are going to finish it in the, within the distance. Well... <laughs> Once again, on this, with this event, I picked wrong. Uh, let me so let me start with uh, you know when these two fighters were walking out, and I've watched this video about ten to twelve times now, and every time they make they're making their way to the cage, you could just feel that there is like an electricity, a tension in the air, like you could tell that everyone in attendance knew how important this fight was. Not just for Hom, but for Fry and for the division and for the sport itself. You, you could just, I mean, you could just feel it. Uh, even the first time I watched the fight, I already knew the result before I got to watch it. Unfortunately, I spoiled it for myself. But, I mean, you could just feel this electricity, this tension in the air and let me tell you something this was a short fight but it, sh but it was amazing for as long as it lasted uh, so you know I'll, I'll tell you what the Road FC commentary team gets a lot of crap on the forums but I thought they were calling it doing pretty good on this fight uh, you know they were right you see, so you had Hamsa. He, she is what I like to call an active counterfighter. She, she goes forward and she tries to initiate. Um, she initiates and she throws a lot of feints, and she initiates attacks, looking to cause her opponent to attack so that she can counter. Uh, whereas uh, Gigi Fry, on the other hand, was the one, you know, staying back looking for like the right opportunity to counter. So you had Hom trying to create opportunities versus Fry who was looking to make up, who was looking for opportunities. Um, I'll tell you what, these two were really looking evenly matched. Uh, there was at least uh, one or two occasions where they threw low kicks at the exact same time. It was pretty neat to see. They're just going, you know, back and forth. They're, 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 they're reaching, not quite. They're, they're filling each other out. You know, they're reaching with their punches, but they're not quite hitting. I mean, yeah, there was a few hits every now and then, but nothing significant. Nothing, really, uh, going under the road FC system. Nothing really even worth scoring for. And then, so they now it's a minute left within the first round. And uh, I'll tell you what, both these fighters were listening to their coaches really well. Uh, you could actually hear, it was quiet because it's a smaller uh, area, a smaller uh, convention hall that the fight was taking place in, and you could hear almost everything that Douglas Fry was saying and Jen was following it pretty much to the letter. And um, when when uh, one of the commentators translated for what um, Bas Yan from Team Mad was saying, to Hamsa, he, he, she was following it also. Um, about a minute left in, you know, they're starting to really get their range in. They're starting to get a read, better read on each other. Um, and at the end of the day, Ham was just able to better read what Jin Yu Fry was doing. One sec. 
um, about 35 seconds left. Fry comes in to punch, and Hom counters. Lands a successful counter. Uh, backs Fry up. Fry comes in again, dusts him, and then uh, she comes in for a third time, and there's about 30, about 30 seconds left. Fry comes in with a reaching uh, right jab, and Hom just unloads with the left punch, with the counter left, and just boom, hits Fry, dead on her face, and Fry just goes back on her left leg, and it collapses beneath her, and she's falling, and you don't see too many fighters fall like this when getting hit. But she fell. It was almost in slow motion. It it reminded you of when you see like films of a tree falling. It was just like timber, and she fell. Fry, I mean, excuse me, Hom, pounced on Fry. Uh, Fry fell, and unfortunately, you know, her right arm got trapped, so she couldn't do anything right to defend herself. Plus, I mean, the lights were on, but nobody was home. Hom lands up. She just starts landing. Uh, hammer fist with the left and I think it was the left and she's landing one two and that's when you really see the lights going on fry three and the lights are definitely out lands a couple more ref jumps in pushes home off jumps on fry you know cradles her and uh, that was the end of the fight and then that's uh, you know the crowd just goes nuts um, Hom immediately just walks over to the cage, collapses to her knees, and just starts crying. I mean, she just you just see all this emotion come out. And it, it's an interesting thing to see because, I mean, some fighters do this. Not every fighter does, but some fighters, you know, they just have this built up inside of them, this energy and the tension, you know. Like I said, everyone was feeling it. And, um... Ever since she came back to Road FC, she's changed. She doesn't dance to come out to the fights anymore. She's serious. and So she just had all this built inside of her, and she just collapsed to her knees and just started crying and just bawling. And then she gets up, and she's crying as she walks over to her coach and to hug him. And one thing, uh, you know, she said leading up to this, after her last fight was, you know, she was upset that her coach couldn't be there. He was in Singapore that same weekend to coach a couple other fighters for the UFC fight night in Singapore. And so I was really happy for, um, to, that was, Tom was able to, you know, win and hug her coach and get a picture with him after this win. Uh, you know, I'll be honest, this, this fight coming in, I'm a big fan of both. Ham Sahi, I've been following her whole career for, what, like 10, 10, 11 years now, since her first fight with Hisewa Nabi. So, I'm really happy for her. Really, really happy that, you know, she's back at Adam Weight, where she is the current queen now. Um, but on the other hand, I've been a fan of Jin Yu Fry. Also, for the last several years, you know, pretty much from her start, first time I saw her in Invicta. So, I knew coming into this fight that it was going to be a bittersweet result for me. I was going to be happy for one fighter and sad for another. Um, now, going back to, uh, you know, I said, I didn't think this fight was going to end the way it did. I wasn't the only one. I'm going to bring up a picture for you. Here's a picture of four very important men in Road FC. And you can see the look on their faces. This is after the knockout. Obviously, I don't think they were expecting this kind of result either. So, lower left-hand corner, you have Daehwan Kim, the new CEO of Road FC. Look a shock on his face. Right behind him, this gentleman... He's high up in Road FC. I forget his name. But, I mean, look at that face. He's like a mix of shock and a smile. He looks like he just walked into a strip club for the first time. Like an 18-year-old walking into a strip club for the first time. On the right-hand side, uh, in the back, 
you have Simon Park and you know his signature sunglasses and hat. He's the Road FC vice president. He's also like a singer and a TV host or something. It, you can tell just by even with the sunglasses. And of course, you can tell, in the lower right hand like, corner, you damn, have that uh, Moon Hong John, the former CEO and still owner of Road FC. And this guy is no notorious like cold fish. Anytime the camera's on him, he's just like, look, has this look on his face like this dead fish. Deadpan look on his face, like no, no, no emotions. This guy is so shocked by this result, he almost showed emotion on his face. That's how shocking the result of this fight was. Now, of course, um, after the fight, you know, Hom, she's happy, and Jin Yu Fry, she's she's there. Hom's getting her hand raised, and Jin Yu Fry, she has. I'll tell you what, it's the exact same look that she had on her face. When Ayaka Hamas, when she lost to Ayaka Hamasaki, that look of just like, where you know she was so close, but just fell short of it. Uh, and it's 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 sad to see for a fighter like in my case, you know, I like both of these, so it it was it, it's tough to see. Um, so follow up from this fight, Hamasaki. Uh, Broke her arm on Jin Yu Fry's forehead. She has uh, she had surgery. She now has a little plate on her radius with a couple uh, screws and nuts and bolts in it. Um, so she's out four to six months. Jin Yu Fry, she's gonna have to go back to the drawing board. Uh, she already, you know, she came out on Instagram and said, you know, I'm down, but I'm not out. You, you know, my opponent's out for four to six months, and I'm already back in the gym. So Jin Yu Fry is going to do good. Whether her next fight is in Road FC or uh, Invicta FC, who knows? Um, Invicta FC, you know, their title picture is up in the air. Um, whereas in Road FC, she could still come over and get some fights and, you know, visit her father's homeland. Um, so there you have it, folks. Uh, a true number one versus number two in their division fighting for right now it's the most meaningful title in the Adam Weight division Road FC winner by a technical knockout and was it like four minutes and 32 seconds of the first round I'm um, sorry he guys let me know what you think if you like the video give it a like leave a comment Complaints, comments, whatever, leave a comment. And uh, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to WMMAC now. I'm your host, Chuck Stevenson. Have a good night, everyone.